Oprah Winfrey just makes reaction for saying whiteness still gives you advantage. In the latest episode of her Oprah conversation, she said, um, whites, have a, whites have a leg up. That's what the term white privilege is. It means that whiteness still gives you an advantage no matter. And this is her trying to address um, the fact that um, someone was trying to say that um, we have poor whites as well and those that are less privileged as well. So, yeah. Um, I, I think I agree with her, um, regardless of um, what the state of whatever economy you are in, um, mm. we still have that white privilege and that idea that, oh, this person is white, so we kind of prefer that person against this other person that is black. And that is why we are actively having the conversation to say, you know what, um, we need to see beyond color and see a person as a human being and what um, their abilities are and what they can bring to the table. So um, it could possibly not sit well with some people, especially when you realize that, yes, um, it's, uh, the developing country term is not just about Africa. It happens globally. It's, it's taking the digitalization of everything. Now, for us to understand that Africa is not the only country that is suffering corruption. It's not the only country that is suffering a whole lot of things that have been associated, associated exclusively to Africa, you know. So maybe if you look at it from that angle, you say she's not being sensitive to the really poor white people mm. as well. But do I, like, I get I like where she's one. coming from? Mm. Yes, I totally yeah, do. Um, we kind of do get where she's coming from from but um it, it hits the wrong way as well but probably because it's coming from opera mm. Mm. so who will it come mm. from mm. and it won't mm. mm. hit the wrong that way that is the cocoa of yeah. the matter because she's yeah. not white because she's rich she's <laughs> a billionaire <laughs> do you understand you have to that, understand that, that. It, kind of, it kind of hits the wrong way as well mm. for that and then i also want us to realize that it's not just because you're white there's something called colorism as well where light-skinned people are even more privileged. But colorism than is as a result skin. of racism still. Yeah, it's yes. still the we, fact we, that we, white we, supremacy we, exists. That's why anything that looks we white get is. That. But the fact that it's coming from yeah, okay, yeah, you make it sense, but well, when, when I first read it, I was like, there's nothing wrong so with it. So are you this. saying because she's a billionaire, she should shut up? She shouldn't say things like that. Because you're a billionaire, you have to say anymore. something. No, you have to say so something. So how you should she have said this? With empathy. And even when when I read that thing, yeah, I was just like, okay, there's nothing wrong. Until I watched the video, I was like, ah, there's a lot wrong with it. Maybe I haven't watched the execution of it was very insensitive okay mm -hmm. this is how i would have said it everybody has privilege mm -hmm. you just but some privileges um, manifest in different ways for me being an educated black woman i have privilege over mm -hmm. people who over i have privilege over a white person. person no no over a white person who isn't educated mm -hmm. in some spaces true, right true. but if a white person a white person also has privileges that i don't have even if i'm rich and they're poor because they are white. And mm. I think that's what Oprah was trying to elude. So if we're both in the car, a white person is walking on the road doing something illegal. I'm in my fancy car, a black person moving on the road. I probably would be more attacked and blah, 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 police brutality, for example. So therefore, that person has more privilege than me. And I think that's what, um, what's it called? Oprah was trying to explain, mm. and I get that. But the execution of it, you have really, like, two really rich black people. So the um, the footballer Football, whoever yeah. and herself and then you had a bunch of white people that were like over exuding this like white guilt thing that was like yeah really doing this whole victim thing and i understand yes you should have guilt to an extent but it's crippling to the entire race of people to just minimize everybody's struggle in an entire race mm. and say that <clears throat> whites always has privilege it's like the same way kkk see their their whatever but just flip it to the black side okay. execution is key if you are wealthy and i think nigerians don't really don't really have that type of culture here we allow rich people to get away with a lot of things but if you put the standard on a, on a global scale when you have a lot of money in your pocket empathy is the one thing people require mm. they mm. want you to empathize with them and if you cannot give that then keep your mouth shut okay so um i totally get it and i understand where she's coming from but i'm also not very comfortable when it feels like because a person has been able to walk themselves out to get to a point where they are then some certain conversations becomes um impossible for them to have them. because they have the money i mean oprah no. so let me yeah, finish yeah, let, me finish. let me finish let me finish that's not the point for me 
let me finish. Yes, she is where she is today, but she came from somewhere. She is where she is today, but if she goes back to her roots, there are people she, she can still relate. You don't stay with her day to day, so you never know. Opera, really, you know, of course, she's still opera, but you never know what she does when it she is not what they are putting mm -hmm. in front of you. I did not say she's suffering. I say you don't know what she does. Right. So the fact that is one thing I I feel like it she doesn't does make sense for me. Does. And again, when people are having this conversation, I think that this conversation should also be had had in batches mm. because. Oprah's experiences and orientation can never be my own experience and orientation based on where I grew up, based on the things I've had to interact with, based on the even here in Nigeria, he have had to have, have an argument with someone who I know is from the really upper class. And I was trying to explain something that goes down below and this person doesn't understand it. And I had to break it down to say, you know what? I'm not telling you this based on what I've read or based on what somebody have told me. I'm telling you this based on the fact that we had a beautiful, huge compound in the middle of people who had to eat from hand to mouth every day and they had to like if you give them 100 naira it's like you've given them 10 million naira they're extremely happy and it gave me the opportunity to understand what these people can actually go through and what their life is all about so when i'm telling you this just know that i'm telling you based on what i have seen firsthand you might not understand it it's possible but because i'm sitting here doesn't mean that i cannot start telling you things mm. that happen that way which is why i said how you tell you, me you which why i said you can do it in batches unfortunately like i said Yes. Unfortunately, like I said, I have not watched that video. Maybe how she said it, I can't defend how that. But based it? on what I have read, I'm telling you that she has not said anything extraordinary. Because even from the explanation no you gave, based yeah, no on... disagree with what she said. So, you but you're say saying she doesn't have the right to say it. Well, because like that. Oprah, really? Like right. that. There's a certain you have way. to say I'm it like sorry. that. Is, like I, Oprah's and, for, and, Oprah and, is and, not the reason we have issues in the world. I hope you understand that. So the fact that she's having a conversation doesn't mean... It's about the issues in the world. It's about, about what Oprah. she said. It's not yeah. about Oprah. It's about what she said. Is whiteness a privilege or not? Yes or no? See, message. if you are going to ignore the fact that a message is key by who is delivering the message, and we don't even need to have this conversation, okay. there's some things that a random person can say and nothing flies. But to whom much is you giving, don't agree much that is that whiteness is a privilege? I literally yes started no. with saying so that I agree. So why are you agreed. saying that because Oprah said it, then it's a problem? Did you see the because way she said it? Because white people are sitting down and talking about what is a problem. But like you said, you haven't seen the video. It's yeah. a problem. Yeah. When yeah. you see the video, yeah, you will yeah, come back. You catch up with what was saying. No one right agreed with that. Not, saying, yeah, but, so you just mm -mm. need to see the video. You, you can't lack empathy. I don't and care secondly, what experience is. Whatever mm -hmm. experience you have, you have, right, you can never explain it to me as the person going through that experience. Thank you. Do you so understand? you're the one going through white so, people. No, no, no. So, to say, I'm to, say to white people, ex ex like, it's me. You gave, uh, I mean, from the explanation what, you what gave Oprah about seen seeing people in that when you world them. That can make her feel like she has the authority to explain that every single white person who had a hard life as well, but doesn't come out to say to you, yours is better because the person is white. It's insensitive. Where it comes to the context of putting a white person at Don't the black person. Don't explain for Oprah, because Oprah did not explain when, it that she way. She doesn't need to explain she it for if you don't understand what white privilege is, uh, and you're saying, oh, Oprah should talk about it, then who should talk about it? Are we supposed show to go and bring it. a white person that is suffering to come people, and explain there were white it, people Then there. create a platform for them and call them to come and have the conversation yeah, because you have people see, who can have these conversations, and you're saying they shouldn't have the conversation. So who no, should have, have the conversation? Have, have the conversation. Have the conversation. Have it with respect. And it's fine. It's fine. I don't get it. You just explained um about the large compound with people mm -hmm. that didn't have any and i have to like, break it down but for you someone. see the way you broke it down Thank and then you. we cannot actually understand but still you cannot explain it like that person which who you who who was you there? Asking asking you, are you uh -huh. saying she should at that point why they are having that conversation but did you go hear how you executed the explanation that would go and explain did you hear the, the way you executed you, to understand the, white privilege? The, the, you understanding your nah. privilege at that time did mm. you hear the way you explained you don't it i'm just saying the fact that a person is he said it with a lot of they empathy. cannot have That's conversations the argument. about the argument someone is that have is empathy. The fact uh, that you're black does not mean you cannot talk about someone that is white. It is, I mean, yeah, but don't talk with facts. confidence if you don't know it. You don't, don't know. So yeah. now Oprah doesn't know it. Uh, Oprah knows what Oprah. She doesn't no, have Oprah, a journey. Is Oprah white? Do you understand, understand that Oprah has does a Oprah journey? Have is any, Oprah white? Does, does she, she have any homeless white, white friend? <laughs> Does she have does any she white ever did in her entire life? It's Oprah talking about in her no, entire life. Really? So about. her life does not matter. It's because she is Oprah, Oprah and she's Oprah a white rich. person? It's no. So for me, it just feels like you're getting on her wealth. That's how it feels. Oh, oh like really? Because like when Dango just speaks and everybody feels like, oh, you shouldn't be talking because you are Dango. Oprah is not a white person. She does not know about white privilege. Move on, please.